Hey YouTube, this is Rochelle and I am back with another video. Um, today I wanted to go over my cash envelopes. I just purchased these from Amazon a couple of weeks ago. I'll put the link in the description. The company is called Scrolls Art, S-C-R-A-W-L-S -S, Art. And they came with a pack of, I think, 10 to 12 envelopes. I ended up only needing four for the moment. I just wanted to have something to hold me over until my personalized cash envelopes come in. I'm so excited for those and I'll let you know when I get them. But for now, I wanted to show you my category. So for these four, these are the ones that stay in my purse at all times. For now, it's housekeeping. I'm blessed to have that twice a week and I really want to make sure that I'm giving as much as possible, especially in the times that we're living in now. So any extra money that I have left over, I will be putting in this category from here on out. Next category is gifts and tips. Then shopping, and that could be any type of shopping. That could be grocery shopping, um, shopping for snacks, um, just anything that we might need in the house. I just wanted to put it all in one category because I feel like we don't really spend a lot of money in this category and it was just hard to keep it split up all the time cash for credit this is something i've been toying with a lot of times i have cash left over at the end of the month and i have it on hand in my purse but i don't actually do anything with it so um, i want to make sure that i give every dollar a name and so i'm using this to hold any extra cash i might have um, that i don't anticipate getting. Sometimes people gift me things, whether it's gift cards or real cash. And so I wanna put it in here immediately until I have time to get home and put it in this one. So those are my four. So let's see, we are in the third week of March and I want to, maybe even the fourth week by now, man, this month is flying. Today is Wednesday, March 25th, 2020. And let's see what I have left over. First up, housekeeping. Now I've already taken out the money for tomorrow because housekeeping is scheduled to come tomorrow. And I had $10. So I put, um, I took that out already. So I need to reconcile using this budget sheet. So after the $10 being taken out, I still have $3 left. So let me reconcile that live. So our beginning balance, let's see here, was $23. I just used money that I had sitting around the house. And now I have $3. I'm just gonna start it from there and go forward. But that'll do. I like these envelopes because they're durable. They're made of like that plastic type material. So it, you know, won't rip on me easily, but I want something where I don't have to flip. I'm, I'm just, I don't know. I've just noticed that when I'm reaching in my purse and I'm out or I need to get something really quick, it's annoying to have to do this. Like, I don't want to top that. So anyway, I'll compare it and that way I'll be able to see. Next category gifts and tips now gifts and tips could be um for anything like if i'm riding with a friend real quick to go somewhere and this is like of course pre-pandemic um i would give gas money i just think it's good in the moment to give something even if it's just a little it's just how i am how i've always been um gifts could be like if I see something in a store, especially right now, I don't leave out often, but when I do, I like to keep an eye out for certain items for some of my friends who um, are older, older and up in age and can't get out. So I wanna make sure I have money on hand. So I just started this cash envelope actually, thanks to the pandemic. And so I don't have anything in it yet, but I plan on filling it um, on payday tomorrow. So I don't wanna put anything on the budget sheet because it doesn't have a balance yet. 
but just when you can help others that's that's what i did um i actually have a gift that i'm dropping off today to to someone to one of my one of my aunties she's like a an aunt or grandmother to me and i just wanted to make sure she had something you know in her wallet so i blessed her with something just doing what i can you know it's hard because i don't right now have any actual income um, not including um, rent that I might get for having a tenant, but I have actually put all my actually travels business on hold. And I'll talk about that maybe in the future, but that I just don't feel really feel comfortable at all booking travel <laughs> for people right now. Um, hopefully things will um, calm down, but even in the future, it's gonna take so long for the travel industry to recover. So I really don't feel comfortable booking things at this moment so i'm really trying to really watch my spending and make sure that i'm using my monies wisely next is the shopping category and i don't think i have anything left in this either we went to sam's club yesterday and bought everything we needed for the next month or two because i'm not trying to have to leave out <laughs> unless it's for maybe fresh produce and so um we we just empty this out um i can't even tell you what the beginning balance was but check out our sam's club video coming soon this is more so just like first three days of me using these envelopes so it's okay i'll get into a routine once a couple paydays hit last but not least cash for credit now cash for credit had initially the three dollars in it so I'm just gonna update the budget sheet. But since I ended up not having enough to make a deposit, I'm just gonna, that's why I moved that $3 to housekeeping. Um, so we took out $3, leaving us a balance of zero. And today is $3.29. And I'll put transfer to housekeeping because housekeeping has already told me that their hours have been decreased because you know, how many people are really checking in right now for work or a uh, pleasure. So I wanna make sure I can donate as much as possible. So that's it guys for my cash envelope update for this week. And I hope you guys are keeping safe, staying happy, and staying healthy amid all of this. I'm just praying that um, I keep a calmness of heart and peace of mind. And that's all I have for today. Peace, love, and budgets. Say bye, E. Bye. <laughs>